A very good afternoon to you. It is now four o'clock or two minutes past four o'clock and we're getting ready to go into our Sunday evening service that starts at a quarter to five. So in about 45 minutes, we're going to go into the service. Now, at Cornerstone Church, we have two services on a Sunday, one at 7.30 a.m. and one at a quarter to five. Now, the quarter to five service is very, very important, especially for those of you that want to attend the School of the Spirit or you missed out on a morning service. Then I have a very special service for you to join at a quarter to five. And I'm extending this invitation to you to come and join us. Now, there's some important things happening on the globe, globally, all across the world. One of them is the United States Embassy has moved to Israel and has made Jerusalem the headquarters. Now, you may be saying, Pastor, why is this very important? Because we are today, the 20th day of May, is the day of Shavuot, or in English we say Pentecost, which means the fulfillment of the Holy Spirit coming down to the earth and inaugurating the church. The church of Jesus Christ was born on Pentecost. And during this Pentecost season, the Shavuot season, during the countdown, remember we're counting up to today, from the day Jesus rose from the dead up until today is 50 days. During the countdown of, of Shavuot, we had a major political move on our planet. And that move was the embassy of the United States being launched and started in the nation of Israel. Pastor, why is this important? Jerusalem today, as of this day, is now recognized, it was never before, is now recognized as the capital of the nation of Israel. Now, I want to say something very important to you. This is good news. It's the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. But if you understand biblical prophecy, you will also understand that coming on the horizon, just ahead of us, is what is known in scripture as the third world war. There's a massive war coming our way. The move of the United States to the city of Jerusalem and making Jerusalem and recognizing Jerusalem as its headquarters has now infuriated those that are in opposition to Israel. Even our country, South Africa has pulled out her ambassador, the ambassador to Israel out. The world has turned against the nation of Israel, fulfilling major portions of biblical scripture. I will be teaching about those things in our evening services, and I'm inviting you to join me on our Wednesday evening services, and I'm extending an invitation to you. Do not miss the sessions. We are living saints. We are living in the most important times in on our biblical calendar. These are important times, very important times. We cannot do church as normal. We cannot live normally. Everything is changing around us. And I'm saying to you, God is reaching out to you. I'm doing, you know, I'm doing everything I can to reach out to you. Sunday morning, 7.30 a.m. Sunday evening, quarter to five. Wednesday morning. If you are at home on a Wednesday morning, I'm saying to you, family, come and join me right here at Cornerstone Church. Get into the Word. Do you know the time and season you're living in? Do you know how significant, how significant this time is? Think about the biblical prophecies coming to pass. Think about your life. Think about your family. What is God saying to you? What is God saying to the church? What is God saying to us during the season? Family, we need to get to the word. We cannot do church as normal. We cannot continue as normal. 
Everything around us is shifting. Everything around us is changing and it's changing rapidly. Now that, is, now that Jerusalem is recognized as the capital of, of Israel, there's a whole lot of things. There's, there's a clock that's going to start to tick and an entire string of prophetic events are going to begin to unfold. And I want to teach you what those things are. You as a believer need to see with the eyes of the spirit, recognize world events that are happening and begin to see those things confirmed in scripture. And you will realize that God is moving on the earth doing great and mighty things. Now family, I know you precious people are listening. Today is the day of Pentecost and I'm praying. I want you to know I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your church. Listen, it's Sunday. It's four, a few minutes past four o'clock. I'm not at home. I'm not sitting in a hotel. I'm here in the house of the Lord. I'm getting ready to go into a service. And I want you to know, as I pray now, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. I'm praying for your church. I want you to join me in prayer. Believe God for your miracle. We're living in exciting times. We're living in times of biblical prophecy that are unfolding right before our eyes. I'm saying the time is short. The coming of the Lord is right there on the horizon. And the people, and the people said, Amen and Amen. In a few moments, I'm going to see you in the main auditorium. If you're making your way to church, you still got a few minutes. We commence at quarter to five. Please come and join us. Remember, Wednesday morning, 10 o'clock. Wednesday, this Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Make your way down. God has a great plan for your life. I'm praying for you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Love you with all my heart. God bless you. See you at quarter to five in the main service.